behind me right there ain't no joke either. I just happened to kind of glance over my shoulder and see that real quick. It's kind of a spur of the moment burn. I'm fixing to take the drip torch and I'm gonna check the wind to be sure. And I'm gonna go over and start uh, lighting it. We've had so much rain. It's gonna burn what's in the top here, but it ain't gonna burn. <clears throat> It'll burn, okay. It's gonna kinda, what it do, it kinda spot burn these spots, like where all the dead stuff is, and over where the taller sage room is. That'll burn pretty good over there once it gets into that, but uh, I'm gonna uh, grip it, and we'll see what happens. Wind's kinda out of the south. Feels like it's, uh, let's see. Feels like it's kind of south, southwest, just a little bit. Smidgen, that's kind of on the southeast. Long as high south. All right, I'll go down there. And I'll start on that end first. And... The bad thing is we had all kind of opportunities over the last several weeks to burn this. I didn't know anything about it. Dad hadn't said anything, and all of a sudden, like last week. He's like, I'm gonna plant that field. I need to get it done. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So, uh, yeah, this is going, this will be at the north end of the field. I'm gonna start it down here first. Matter of fact, I think I'll start it right here. Let it go into the wind. Yeah, this wind's gonna be a jerk today. Nance blowing straight out of the north i'm gonna light it in here this here will go good yep all right let me get this drip torch field fires like this right here when you're burning them off boy you better have your crap together because that sun gun will freaking move man look at it all the way over there see it it's going to come across this field i'm going to go ahead and back burn it going that way now There ain't no joke, buddy. That's serious right there. Ooh, good gracious. That behind me right there ain't no joke either. I just happened to kind of glance over my shoulder and see that real quick. There is some heat coming off of that right there. All right. I'm gonna go over here and come. 
come on up this side. across that field that first fire I set over there I got to get all this over here too y'all want to see some clover it's every, all these lanes over here that I planted this past fall that and that's solid clover this won't get planted in trees right here this will stay established as green fields and stuff I'd rather be turkey hunting right now, y'all. <laughs> so one thing about it is, anybody that's got any turkeys around this, they'll be right here. I think, I may ride in woods there. I may light some in the woods. This is burning, burning pretty good. May light them up too and burn some of them while I'm doing it.
see the line over where the fire is. To the trees. Really not gonna be hot enough to take many of these saplings like this right here. All it's basically doing is just cleaning the ground off underneath everything. I mean, I'm standing just a few feet from it and it's not that hot. So fire is the most useful and the cheapest tool that you have at your disposal if you're a property owner. And pretty much all the states have fire courses where they'll train you on how to do controlled burns. And it don't take a lot of equipment to be able to do it. And you can do a lot by yourself if you've got a ranger, a really good blower, and you're set up right, and you let the conditions get right, and uh, you get your permits or whatever you need because every state varies a little bit on the permitting process and everything that goes on along those lines.